everyone! Welcome to another episode of So Not Scary. In today's episode, I'm going to keep it super short, super simple, and today we're going to talk about the mini sewing machine's thread tension adjustment. So if you're new here, or if you don't know this already, every sewing machine has essentially got two threads. One thread sits on top and the other thread sits at the bottom. And together, these two threads combine to make perfect stitches to sew your projects. Now, if one thread is tighter or if the other one is looser, your stitches can come out looking uneven, okay? And they can really mess up with your sewing project. So it's important to know how to adjust the tension on your sewing machine's threads. Now, in the mini sewing machine, and in most sewing machines anyway, the easiest way to control a thread tension is to control the top thread's tension, okay? For the bottom thread, it can be a little bit finicky. You have to pull out usually a screwdriver and fiddle around with screws. Today we're not talking about that. Today we're going to keep it super simple and figure out how to adjust the tension of the top thread so that both your top and bottom threads come out perfectly evenly and your project sews beautifully. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Now, if you've watched my earlier video uh, right here, you would know that the mini sewing machine is not designed to sew stretchy fabrics, okay? So to demonstrate the thread tension adjustment on our mini sewing machine, today I'm going to use a simple, non-stretchy, woven fabric, okay? So this is medium weight cotton, usually used to sew men's dress shirts, okay? Um, it's medium weight. And as you can see, it has no stretch. So I'm doing that and it's not stretching. Let's flip it that way and try to stretch it. And nope, no stretch this way either. But now look what happens if I stretch it diagonally on the bias. Do you see? Do you see? the fabric is behaving in an elastic manner. So on the diagonal, woven fabrics behave in a stretchy way as well. And we are going to use this quality to our advantage when we are setting the thread tension on our mini sewing machine. Let's go ahead and do that. Right, so let me quickly walk you through what I've done with, uh, with my mini sewing machine. I've installed a white top thread, as you can see, and in there, there's a black bobbin thread. And I've done this deliberately so we can see exactly what we're doing, okay? Now, if you don't know how to thread your mini sewing machine, here are some links to how to do this properly, okay? Uh, so go ahead, check them out. Uh, you can easily thread it using the P for perfect method and the nifty nine method, and you'll be done in no time. So before you start sewing, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna take a sample fabric of your own choosing and place it underneath the presser foot on the diagonal. And now we're going to sew a straight line. Okay, so we've now stitched a straight line, okay? And you can see the fabric's puckering up a little bit, okay? Uh, we're going to get to the bottom of why it's doing that, but you can see the top thread appears here because it's white, and on the back, there's the black thread, okay? Now, because you've sewn on the diagonal, this is what we're gonna do. Grip both the sides really firmly and pull. And look what happened, our thread broke. Now, this is what we have to do. Find out which thread broke. It's the white thread. And if I flip it over, look, the black thread is intact, okay? The black thread did not break, the white thread broke. What that means is that the white thread is too tight. So we need to make it loose, okay? So just like you open a bottle cap, you're going to turn it this way, okay? So you're going to make it looser. And now we're going to try sewing another stitch line and see how that goes. Okay, so the second stitch line is looking much better than the first one, okay? Can you see there's no puckering? Let's try pulling on the fabric again. And hey, look, nothing broke, which means the tension is now balanced because the top thread and the bottom thread 
have both come through evenly, okay? So that is one way to quickly adjust the tension on your mini sewing machine. But there are other ways as well. So you know that the top thread is white. So on top of my fabric, I should only be seeing white thread, not black thread. So if I zoom in closer, you can see, I can see specks of black, okay? Ideally, that should not be happening. If the black thread is coming through, it means that the black thread is too loose compared to the white thread, okay? So the black is looser, the white is tighter. So which means we need to loosen the white thread even more. Let's do that. And now when we sew, Aha! Do you see the clear difference? Top stitch line, you could see a lot more black thread peeking in between the stitches. Now look at the second stitch line. Hardly anything there, okay? So the second stitch line is much more balanced compared to the first stitch line, okay? So that's another way to figure out how to fine tune your tension point setting, okay? Now, let's go in the other opposite direction. What if the top thread was too loose, okay? So let's make it really loose this time. Whoa, it's just really, really loose, okay? The white thread is so loose, it's actually making loops on the other side of the fabric, okay? This is not how it should be. Ideally, it should be very well balanced like we did earlier. Step one. Sew a rough stitch on the diagonal to find out if any of the threads are way out of balance, okay? And when you pull on the diagonal and the thread breaks, you know that the broken thread is too tight, so you make it looser. Then, step two, you stitch again and you look really closely to see which thread is peeking through the fabric a little more on the other side, okay? And then you tighten that thread again. Okay, or loosen, however. And that's how you adjust the thread tension on your mini sewing machine. So there you have it. A very simple two-step method to adjust the thread tension on your mini sewing machine. I hope this was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye!